how much acting are you doing in front of a mirror? <laughs> it's still a very common practice for animators to have a mirror at their desk. I have one at my desk right now. <laughs> my name is Matthew Shumway, and I'm an animation supervisor at Industrial Light and Magic. Our job on the film is to take care of anything that is digital and moves. It's like a digital puppet. We get handed a character, and then frame by frame, we'll go through and pose the character out until it comes to life and has a performance, and then once the director likes it, it goes down the pipeline and gets finished and put into the movie. I grew up when Disney was kind of having this renaissance of films with Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and I just fell in love with that process. I love the idea that you can take a drawing and then make it come to life. What's fun about animation is that we are dead center of screen more often than not. And the way we kind of sneak things in is through ourselves and recording reference of ourselves doing something. It's really cool to kind of get your bit into it and then your collective group puts out this character to the world and he becomes his own. Every shot has a certain amount of reference to it. It's a big part of doing animation. We have an animator acting room here at Industrial Light and Magic that is specifically just for the animators to go in with a camera and perform their scenes. We'll often get together and perform for each other. It's a wonderful reference tool because you can just grab your friends and get the performance you want. You can try a different version, shoot it with your phone, and we use it on almost every shot. Growing up and watching the Star Wars films, I just fell in love with the creatures of Star Wars and to be able to contribute to that just was a huge bonus for me and I loved it. And for Solo, there's a character named Rio. I really enjoyed working on him. It was a character that we spent a lot of time developing. You will never have a deeper sleep than curled up in a Wookiee's lap. The approach to animation was a little different too. It wasn't just our typical animation, make it look as real as possible. In Star Wars, you have to interact with some characters that are puppets, some that are digital, and you don't want to have that divide be too much. So we wanted it to look like the most sophisticated puppet that there could be. Like any artist, there's ups and downs, but I have to say with this job, you do feel fortunate to work in a place that allows you to be creative and express yourself in these amazing giant movies to be a part of. So fail a lot and fail with a smile because you're going to fail a lot along the way. But if it's something that you really want to do and you're passionate about it, stick with it. We all found our way here, so don't be afraid of it. Learn from it and uh, go for it.